who has that degree, but decided that she too was going to enter the world of entrepreneurship. And so with that being said, it's just about realizing that there are social classes that exist in this society and particularly I'm speaking within the black community that will dictate what type of companionship and what type of woman that you can get for long term and let me emphasize that long term committed relationships because you yeah you may be able just based on how you carry yourself how you dress your style you can be a blue collar brother but you can attract the attention of a white collar sister if you catch her at the right time and based on on your you know your style right for example you may be a, a blue collar bro brother or brother from the hood you know and let's say you you know you go and basically upgrade your your wardrobe so you may have been wearing like more urban gear but let's say one day you decide to go to you know i don't know men's warehouse i don't shop a lot and upgrade your your wardrobe to slacks and you know button up shirts and blazers and dress shoes right and so you go you decide to go to an area in which these white collar sisters you know or women are normally known to go and you know how to talk to talk and walk the walk you can go in there and you can pull you one for short-term non-committed type of relationship you know a, a sexual relationship but after a while you know when you're dealing with that woman and she starts to ask you you know what are you doing you know for you as far as your career what are you doing as far as um you know your goals and this that and the other what plans you have and if you you know if you tell her well i'm just a blue collar worker or i'm a brother you know that's trying to you know start this business up she may not understand that and she may not see security in being with you for the long term she may she she may want that security that she feels she's she can get from a brother that has a certain type of title you know the lawyers are you know the doctors are you know things of things of that nature and so she may eventually you know upgrade you due to her uh due to the woman's hypergamous nature you know or she may want you she may be constantly nagging at you to upgrade and you know saying things like so well you know honey why don't you consider this or why don't you consider this position or why don't you consider going back to school and getting your master's and you may be like i'm not trying to go that path you know i got a, i got a dream i got a goal you know i'm trying to i'm trying to accomplish and i'm not trying to you know go that path a good example of that situation playing out it was a it was a movie i think it's called um what men want but or whatever I mean what women want uh, it was it was starring Tahaji uh, P Henson and that actor Michael Neely the, the light-skinned brother and I believe she was a corporate woman she was a corporate 500 woman and he was a brother who was trying he had a he had a he had an idea he wanted to you know he wanted to um, to have his own business you know he wanted to start like some food some food catering business and she didn't understand that you know she didn't understand that and it wasn't going the way he 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 thought it it wasn't going the way that you know it wasn't popping off in the beginning and in the movie um you could see that she started to become frustrated and she eventually ran into an old uh guy that she used to date that was you know a high he had a high title in corporate america and and she soon was starting to you know consider courting him leaving him for her uh for the guy that was uh, the entrepreneur you know so 
there you have it. That's 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 a perfect example of what happened in that situation when you're dealing when you're trying to deal with that type of woman. So, you know, I would say to you guys, you know, um, just you know, identify. You know, if you if you have a vision, if you have a goal, go for that shit, man. Stay on your purpose. Forget about these women, man. And if you choose, if you ch you choose do. To go after these, these uh, if you're a blue collar brother or entrepreneur brother, and you do choose to go after these corporate type of women or these white collar women, you know, just just understand what you're getting into. You know, understand that you know this this is their mindset, and you know, do what you do and and keep it pushing. Don't if if you don't plan on you know allow them to sway you to do something that you don't want to do as far as career wise, then just look at it as a, look at it as a short term thing. And 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 uh, do what you do, man. But you might have to just cho you know choose or deal with the sister, the the, the, uh, the woman from the block, you know, or the woman that understands that struggle. You did that 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 would be the best option for you in terms of long term companionship, in my opinion. So with that being said, like, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. Who has that degree but decided that she too was going to enter the world of entrepreneurship and so with that being said it's just about realizing that there are social classes that exist in this society and particularly I'm speaking within